where it does, and we are underway. That is the most important part of all of this. I gotta tell you what, Paul, we've been doing Beyond Wrestling since 2009. Coming up on the 14 year anniversary in May. I, honest to God, cannot believe the quality of the matches, the efforts that all of these men have put in to get this far. Every single match in this tournament has been better than the next. I expect tonight to be no different. I'm still reeling from last week's main event with Tyree Taylor and Fancy Ryan Clancy. I didn't think it could get louder in this building, but it's already reaching that peak at this point. I, I didn't think it was gonna be possible to top Miracle Generation against Milk Chocolates for the IWTV Tag Team titles, and then the encounter between Tyree Taylor and Ryan Clancy was jaw-dropping. It was incredible. Tyree Taylor shocked by the return of Big Bufa after he laid him out in dramatic fashion two weeks prior. Bufa really made his return felt. He impacted things in a big way, and now Fancy Ryan Clancy will meet the winner of Brad Hollister and Bobby Orlando, which comes later today. I don't even know who to pick in that one. I don't know who to pick in this one. I mean, Donuts and Itchy Bonds a toss-up for me. I, I, I said it last week, I do think that Clancy is gonna be the man that is going to win the whole tournament, especially after the effort against Tyree Taylor. But there you see Steven Stetson taking his time, making the most of his five count. And like you said, Marcus Mathers has never been in the ring with a competitor like Steven Stetson. He's got quite the wrestling pedigree. Sometimes uh, maybe we sell him a little bit short because of all the money he's got behind that Stetson name, but he trained with Damian Adams as well. He did. Steven Stetson, with all of that money behind him, has paid for analytics teams, scouts, lawyers, but also high caliber training. As much as we don't like the way he goes about things, he is a student of the game, and he has shown it in many different ways, but he's going to have to show it in a big way here tonight in the quarterfinals. Well, one thing you can't buy is size, and Steven Stetson is a big boy. Just staggered with that drop kick, another glancing blow. Man, big flying forearm. Stetson reeling in the corner. I think he got all of that boot, but another elbow. Nobody can put together these combinations of offense quite like Marcus Mathers. But Steven Stetson, the analytics team, he had it scouted. He's been doing his homework, and Marcus forced to switch it up a little bit. And he switched it up, but Stetson, it looked like he barely felt that at all. I mean, Stetson is a big, big human being. You don't know it until you're up next to him. Oh, Stetson caught Mathers in mid-air, and there is the backbreaker, lower part of the back, and Steven Stetson just cut off any momentum that the young prodigy had here in this quarterfinal match. And Paul, I think it's worth mentioning that all tournament matches a 30-minute time limit, so Stetson can take his time here tonight. Who knows, this could eat up the first 45 minutes of tonight's programming with entrances and whatnot. I mean, we can rock till midnight. Nobody's kicking That's us off at the 10 o'clock hour. That's another thing coming into this tournament, not to cut you off there, but that is another aspect to this that people have to switch up their own game and realize you have more time. It's not a 10 minute time limit. So if you feel like changing your strategy, you can toy with it a little bit. But how much is Stetson going to toy with it as he absolutely crushes Marcus Mathers with that shot. Finally going for a pin attempt, but not hooking the leg, instead grinding the face of his opponent. Doing a little bit more damage, even with a lateral press. And now Steven Stetson going back on the offensive here, not taking his time, getting into the next position, and there is a vertical suplex. Marcus Mathers is in a lot of pain. That lower back is being targeted in a big way. Steven Stetson likes to dictate the pace, he likes to take his time. What you can do is mitigate the momentum that can be built, especially as Marcus Mathers likes to string together offense. But Marcus, that was a slick move, getting the inside cradle. Stetson up in the corner, back turn to Marcus. Now we see the schoolboy attempt ball. Oh man, that was close. Almost got him there. Almost punched his ticket into the final four. Up and over, hits the sunset flip. No, only a count of two. Smart to hook that cradle in the middle, but you just cannot mitigate the size of somebody like Steven Stetson. He's just too big and rangy. And the aggressiveness, the ruthlessness that he has, because when it comes to wrestling open, when it comes to Steven Stetson, he is all about control, whether it is the tag team division. Now the singles division here at Wrestling Open, his entire being has been about controlling the ranch and controlling Wrestling Open. Oh! Sickening thud on that chop. 
Marcus defiant, showing that he's still in the fight, but for how long? But Mathers digging down deep here. The battering from Stetson, the young prodigy, is having none of it. Paul, you ever belly flop into the pool? Yes. Yeah, a chest chop feels about a thousand times worse than that. Not something I advise. I can't believe how tough professional wrestlers are, what they put their body through. Here's another thing. Have you seen Stetson hit this hard before? I don't recall him chopping people like this. I feel like, like you said, he's switching it up. This is certainly another gear than what we're used to seeing from Stetson, but look what's on the line. Only one person can be the first ever wrestling open singles champion, Paul. And he goes right on Cowboy here. This is signature Stetson right here. I could do without this. Look at him flexing there as Marcus Mathers in a world of hurt and a lot of confusion to makes a cover on the lateral press, a near fall only as this crowd continues. We talk about Stetson's relentless style here in this match. The crowd is relentless toward him. But look at what he's been doing lately, paying the hospital bills of Alec Price's grandfather to basically blackmail him into the Stetson ring. Uh, you said it, not me. Marcus Mathers from pillar to post, collapsing in the corner. Stetson barely looks like he broke a sweat as we approach the 10 minute mark in this 30 minute time limit. If we do reach a draw though, both competitors are eliminated from the tournament. Is that correct? That is correct. And could you imagine we would have a trip to the finals on the line tonight if that happened here? So much at stake. This crowd is absolutely unglued for the young prodigy and with good reason. He has given fans performance after performance and could he pull off another big one here tonight? I think Stetson caught that in the rib cage. That can make it very difficult to breathe. Still looking to strike with his right side. I do think that is his dominant arm. He paid the price. And this is where Marcus is most comfortable. Finally able to take Stetson off his feet with that crossbody. Oh, but all the damage, DC, it is done. He could not make a cover right there. Usually at this point, hitting something like that, you'd be right into a cover, but the pain was too much. Well, you talk about fighting on instinct. What do you do when you go to the top rope and you see a standing opponent, you hit him with a crossbody, but with all the damage that's been done, I don't think that was the smartest move out of Marcus Mathers. Steven Stetson, Marcus Mathers, who will be in the semifinals? which will take place right here next week. Who is going to make it to that match? One semifinal match next week. Both? Both semifinal matches next week. Yes. Unbelievable. Oh, this is the combination I was talking about. Right on the money with that spin kick. Here we go. There is the forearm. Oh, reverse by Stetson though. Mathers hits the stunner. And Stetson is rocked. Can he get him up? I don't think it's a wise move to use power against somebody the size of Steven Stetson, especially with the injuries that Marcus has sustained. That smart though wrestles circles around him. Hells him up and drops him down. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. I don't think Stetson was, and Stetson. Man, his chances almost went up in smoke. This building is about to go up after the electricity and the fire in the room. Marcus Mathers thought he had Steven Stetson beat, but the one and only New Jersey Cowboy getting that shoulder up at two. A chaos theory German suplex. Marcus Mathers forced to pull out all the stops. In control right now, still favoring that back. Feed off the energy of these fans here, kid, and make yourself famous. Be the first ever Wrestling Open champion. Gonna try to get that power bomb, but Stetson is just too much right, and he stomped the foot. He stomped the foot. That's perfectly legal. Not that I want to sit here and defend Steven Stetson. It is a legal move that doesn't get utilized enough by some competitors as Marcus Mathers trying to hang on with everything that he has. Gotta be careful with those shots to the back of the head. That can knock you out. Stetson, I thought he was on spaghetti legs. He was playing possum and a variation of a blue thunder bomb. Option to go, hooking the leg, lateral press, unable to get the pin. Mathers gets that shoulder up. It is only a near fall and an unbelievable effort, effort from both competitors here in the first of three quarterfinal matches to come here tonight. And this is just tonight's opening contest. Never mind the first of the quarterfinal matches. It's the first match on tonight's episode of Wrestling Open. Use the hashtag Wrestling Open if you're watching on IWTV. He has him lined up for that Northern Jersey Lariat. The Lariat to the back of the head has been used to devastating effect by Stetson. Oh, Marcus saw it coming. He must have eyes in the back of his head. Stetson trying to break that grip. There's an elbow and a chop. 
What a difference maker these chops have been in this match for Stetson Paul. Oh man, and again. Mathers giving it right back. Again, Mathers is defiant, Paul. I don't know what other word to use, but this is a mistake. This is a test of machismo. I don't think you want to get in a striking contest against a larger opponent. But Marcus Mathers is trying to prove us all wrong as he is unloading on Stetson. You're making me eat my words, but Stetson grabbing the trunks. Marcus trying to free himself with the kick. Now Stetson just overpowering him up on the shoulders. Couldn't plant him in the center of the match. Stetson holding on to the head. Excuse me, Marcus holding oh, on to the head. Oh, his back just went out. He went for that power bomb, and the back went out, DC. Oh, I think he was going to drive that head into the mat. But like you said, the injury's catching up. Has him in a good position here for a power bomb. Able to slip out. Ducks it. Spins around. Can he get it? He sits out with it. Stetson out at the count of two. Damn it to hell. Marcus Mathers unable to finish the one and only New Jersey Cowboy. Paul, I thought he was looking for a pile driver. Instead, he hit a power bomb. Quarter final number one here tonight. Use that hashtag. Let us know what you think as both the young prodigy and the one and only New Jersey Cowboy. As Mather says, I love wrestling open, and you couldn't care less, Stetson. There's another one. Mathers going to work with the chops again. Is he gonna hit one more? If he can hit one more. No, he's gonna go for the Bozo Buster. On an opponent that large, I mean, Marcus Mathers has had some unbelievable displays of strength himself. But there you see Stetson putting on the brakes. Connects with an elbow to the back of the head. Another chop from Marcus Mathers. Looking to build momentum off the ropes. Gets plucked and slammed down to the mat. That's going to buy sets in some valuable time, Paul. Huge power slam. Has him set up. Hits the Northern Jersey Lariat. Is that it? This sets it on to the semifinals. Damn. Stetson is your winner. The time of the fall, 12 minutes, 25 seconds. I have never, ever felt energy.